And that tournament will feature eight teams per gender and will secure the very last Olympic berth. That's for them. This is now. Spain, Japan in your face. Let's get to it. Stephanie Mawudi. She's too strong on the turnaround. She's had a strong tournament to this point. That ball ruled out of bounds off of Spain. So Japan will take over. They go with the small lineup. Shinozaki, Yamamoto over to Shinozaki. She wants to make the move. Instead, it's Yamamoto. She gets to the crib, but she can't make the layup. Oh, nice feed on the inside. Aitana, soft hands, and she delivers the cookie in the cup. One up to Spain. Oh, Mawuli left her in the dust. 1-1. One, one. Aitana, she's so dominant down there in the painted area, but that shot goes begging. Good defense there from Mawuli. Now it's my Yamamoto, Shinozaki. They want to feed it down low. Unselfish kick out from Mawuli, a smart play. Yamamoto could knock it down though. My over to Shinozaki. She knocks the shot down like Saki. 3-1. <laughs> Under a minute has eclipsed in this game and Kanea will get the layup. Yamamoto takes the rainbow. She is a shooter. 5-2. Got to make sure you check that scout report. Oh, that's baby food right there for Aitana. She takes it to the crib. 5-3 game. Shinozaki, she's out of there. Bye, bye, bye. 6-3. Aitana was trying to set up shop, and the Japanese defense holds that time. Shinozaki, last look at that layup that she hit, and my Yamamoto. She is Yamamoto-matic. <laughs> Here the Japanese come, they start out on the perimeter, the handoff, the swing. Nishioka down low, that's an option. Instead, Shinozaki decides to shoot it. She misses the shot, score stays in place. Japanese with the early advantage. Six three. Spain trying to trim into that lead. And here's Jimeno, takes it right at Nishioka. Jimeno, a very capable scorer down there on the block. Nishioka sets the screen for Mawuli, who's trying to come through. That doesn't work out. Neither does Nishioka. That's because she was fouled. This is the final ticket to Tokyo in the women's competition. Japan wants to join the men who have already qualified. Kimeno, this should be a score. And it is. Too much size underneath. Spain still trailing by one. Nishioka, gotta go. 7-5, after the lay. Igaradide. She goes past Nishioka. Stolen though. Nice pass in here from Japan. Mawuli. She sets him up with the pump fake. Kimeno waiting for the ball. They got it to her a little late. Spain could have been a little bit better with the transition transition offense there. Kimeno was open all day long. They do get the score. Shinozaki has it poked away from Kimeno. Down low, they go to Jimeno. She drop steps, and basket is waved off. Foul on the floor. First on Japan. Foul apiece. And a TV timeout as we are under seven minutes to play in this contest. Yeah, 
ってダメだったんですよ、これ。もう一回ですか、ね、もう一回。Oh, off the mark on the pass. Aitana just a little bit out of reach of Kanea. Now it's Nishioka working from the right wing. She's got Yamamoto coming around. Yamamoto gets it over. Nishioka shot a little flat. So Jimeno will get it over to Kanea. She likes it down there with Aitana. She's going up against Yamamoto, and she gets called for the offensive foul. She tried to clear with that elbow. Huge mismatch here. And yeah, elbow swings around, and Yamamoto is able to draw that foul. Solid defense, hands straight up in the air. Yamamoto, Shinozaki. Gone in a blink. Nine to six. Kanea Igeta Vide. That's a good look. Double dip. Nine eight. Good defense too. As Aitana hits the block button. All ball. Igeta Vide. It's always off safety. She's ready to shoot it. And she's got Spain within one. Shinozaki, Igedevide in front of her. Tough shot late in the shot clock. Igedevide tracks down the rebound. Ganea coming around. Got to the spot, missed it, but what a tip in from Jimeno. Ties the game at nine apiece. Yamamoto over to Mawuli. Mawuli taking a step and a foul. In the process of heading to the hoop. Yep, taking some contact out there. Three fouls on Spain, only one on Japan. 5.23 left in the only game left in the women's competition. It is the Olympic ticket game number three. Shinozaki couldn't drop it from deep. The Spain defense on the interior, tough. They steal it. You get a V-Day behind the back trying to set something up. 11-9. Two-point contest. Under five to go. That's the midway mark officially. 10 minute sprint to the Olympics. That's exactly what this is. Nishioka, she does it, deliver the package underneath. Aitana, she's waiting for some movement. Kimeno, she says, don't worry, I got you, sis. Swish, swish. 13 to nine. Mawuli. She misses the lay. Now they got a D up. Aitana, Kimeno. Kimeno, she just knocked one down. That's a heat check. Only a two possession game. Shinozaki she, to Nishioka. Mawuli putting a lot of pressure on the defense here. And she continues to get to the interior. Meantime, on the outside, Vega Kimeno feeling just fine. So here comes Mawuli now. She gets it to Yamamoto. Oh, she lost the cookie. It's over in the Spaniards hands. Yamamoto is down. She got some good help defense from Nishioka. Saved the layup. Aitana off balance shot. Mawuli will sky in for the rebound. She clears it herself. Seven seconds left. And Yamamoto, my, 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 she's fast. 13-10, you get a V-Day, 
Off the miss, a foul underneath. That's the fifth on Spain. So while they hold a three-point lead, they are not in a great foul situation. They do have one more to give. Japan with 10 points and only a single foul. Yeah, it's lit inside the Thunderdome. As the sun goes down, the energy goes up. The ladies taking center stage Whoa. here. Bottoms up, Shinozaki, good touch in the middle of the paint. Miscommunication by Spain. Mawuli drop stepping on Ikeda Vide. And some good defense on the inside. Look again. Ikeda Vide getting a hand in there, disrupting the shot. No such luck on the pull up from Shinozaki. Shinozaki, she's got Aitana in front of her. But for how long? Beep, beep, excuse me. I'm out of here. Good bucket. And a one point game. Oh. Yamamoto is down, but not for long. Help, helped up quickly by our teammates. She took a big, she could have took a tough screen there. From Aitana, Jimena. Oh, yeah. Great position underneath. She's really played well for Spain. She's giving them a chance to potentially get a win here. They're only up two, though. It is the last opportunity for Spain. I can tell you that. Aitana missed it. Black foul, and that's three, and I think that's on the floor. Spain has, did not qualify for the Universality Olympic Qualifying Tournament again. That is the last tournament before the Olympics. Japan has. So even if they don't win here, they are qualified to compete one more time. Oh, Sandra Igeta Vide double-crossed her. So Spain, 15. Japan 12, look at the double cross. Ankles hurt twice as much. Ay, ay. 222. Kimano coming inside the screen. He got a V-Day. She's going to spin free, lefty layup. Nice. Now my Wooly. She goes to the left. But she misses it. Under two minutes left. It's crunch time. Teardrop, Jimeno. Spain up five. Shinozaki. Quick first step. She finishes with the reverse. Two possession game. First of 21 wins. Igeta Vide. Jabs, spins, that's great defense from Shinozaki. And a shot clock violation. Stopping Sandra Igeta Vide for any consistent amount of time is a tough thing to do. She lined up right in front of her and held her own. And not only that, she put her on the bucket list too. Minute 27. There's Yamamoto, Sayonara. Japan not out of it yet. And especially with a turnover. Things can turn quickly in this game. There's nothing about 3x3 that isn't quick. Minute 13 left. You do the math, 12 second shot clocks. So that's gonna be a lot, several possessions. They don't have to force it too, especially with Vega Jimeno, wet like she is right now. She is in a nice little groove for Team Spain. 
18 to 14. Mawuli. That's a two piece. And it's a two point game. Kanea Aitana takes her time, steps into it, but it's long. So Spain's lead stays where it's at. Mawuli got caught up with the rock a little bit. But look how uh, Japan is moving it around. And Kimena is down. Great to see that sportsmanship from Nishioka. She's locked into a hot battle with this team, and she helps her up. 41 seconds left. Spain either trying to get to 21 or keep the Japanese at bay. So here we go. Yamamoto. She's gone. Long gone. 18-17, Japan. And a foul outside. So here we go. That's Mawuli. Call for that foul, the six on Spain. They got no more to give. I mean, five on Japan, but Spain does have six fouls. Aitana, she hands it off. They know that Sandra Igueravide is probably gonna be their best bet. Unless they get a look like that, they wipe it away. Shot clock violation. Aitana wants to challenge that. A good shot clock challenge because, again, one point contest. They need a bucket. They want some breathing room, so a shot clock challenge. And they will determine whether or not that actually did leave her hand in enough time. If that ball is out of her hands before that clock hits zero, then that bucket is going to count. And she did not. It's a good call. Didn't have it up in time. So the challenge is lost. No bucket for Spain. They're going to have to depend on their defense if they want to go to Tokyo. Shot clock and the game clock, they're the same. 12 seconds. It's going to come down to this right here. Mawuli, Shinozaki, wide open layup, it's tied up. Now Spain, they'll get one last shot. Sandra Igalavide, two, one, long. This is the first overtime. How about Japan fighting from four down late? I told you it wasn't over. They had enough possessions to make this a game, and they do that. So here we go to overtime. The first team to score two points in OT wins the game. That's the rules. Igaravide in Spain will start with it. Guarding the perimeter, the utmost importance. They give Igaravide a look and it just rolled off. They dodged the bullet big time. Mawuli, Nishioka, she's got Yamamoto coming around. My, my, my. She gets to the crib and she draws the foul. That's number seven on Spain. So Yamamoto can end this game at the free throw line. My Yamamoto, 21 years old. She's going to have to find a way to shake off any nerves in this moment. She misses the first of two. It is a big moment. A ticket to the Olympics is at stake here. Let's see if she can at least give Japan a one-point advantage. She does. It rattles in. You got to be thinking Spain's looking to get a two-piece. You get a V-Day. She's going to get a screen from Aitana. And that time it's Yamamoto whistle. Foul number six on Japan. They now have none to give. Next defensive foul on the Japanese, and Spain will be shooting a couple of free throws. So here comes Vega Jimeno. 
This is setting up to be a classic ending, and it nearly ended. But Jimeno's shot rolls off the rim. Japan survives, and all they need is one. They don't have to go for two. It is Japan who do it in improbable fashion. They come from behind, and against the odds, they take down a giant in Team Spain who are devastated. Their final opportunity, and Japan seizes the moment. The Japanese will represent in their own backyard, not only the women's team, but the men's team who qualified already by virtue of being host. So Japan will be well represented as a country and as a team.